everybody so it is the first day of March and I'm feeling pretty good today so I'm actually gonna try to go outside and get some stuff done but for sure I'm gonna go downstairs and get some laundry started now the thing about my stairs in the house is they're too steep and I can't go in and up and down the steps so I have to go out <laughs> and around to the backyard and into the basement so I also got a little glimpse of some things that I'd like to get straightened up today if it warms up enough. I know I keep showing you that area, but one of these days, you guys, that area is going to be clean. Looky there, I've got some um, daffodils and some naked ladies popping up out there. How funny is that? I'm going to see about getting something uh, a little organized out there. I'm going to be stepping into the greenhouse today and taking a peek in there. I hope you go along with me and see what all I get done today. Hey, you gotta have goals, and if you fail, that's okay. You get back up and you do it when you can. On this first day of March, I want to bring out my plants and start uh, letting them get some of the sunshine from outside and a little bit of the wind. So I'm gonna do that right now. That was a little heavy. All right, this is the one that has my peppers in it. All right, that's the one that has my squashes and arugula and lettuce in it okay so i'm ready i'm gonna go ahead and take my cane with me just in case i need it and of course i have my phone because that's how i videotape things <laughs> all right let's go Check out my cane, huh? I've been missing you. Yeah, I've been missing you. Oh. You allergic to me? Huh? You allergic to the sun? Yo, dog. Love you. Would you like to run around a little bit? Huh? I'll let you loose for a little bit. Is that no or yes? <laughs> I gotta go get some laundry started. Okay, I got a load of laundry started, so I thought I'd come down and check my gourds. And I did check them out, and they have all got some sort of mold on them. So I looked it up to see if I was still going to be able to use them for painting. And you can. You just gotta be careful how you wash the mold and stuff off. I have not been able to get down here and take care of them the way that I would like to. So that's kind of why they're in the shape that they are. Um, but, you know, they're drying up pretty good, actually. That one's still pretty green. 
We picked the yeast back in October, but I like the way they're drying up with the different shades on there. Even though they kind of look bad right now, they won't. I will follow the instructions on how to take care of that mold and then uh, we'll still be able to salvage quite a few of them, I'm sure. I can't wait to start digging into them and get them completely dry and washed off and their first coat of paint on, which I think is probably going to be a while yet. Uh, my gourds, since I had to pick them green, well, I didn't pick them. Y'all know John had to go out and pick them. Um, it's just taking a long time, but they're doing good. Came across one of my favorite CDs while I was down here. Uh, if you've never listened to them, go ahead and see if you can uh, maybe YouTube them or something. Uh, Point of Grace. They are really good. What are you doing, Butter? Hmm? What you doing? Come here, let me brush you for a little bit. Are you enjoying that, huh? Girls are sure enjoying the day. Yeah, a big chicken. Are you coming to talk to me? Huh? Are you gonna come talk to me? I don't have anything for you. Just conversation. Oh, it's been a long time since I seen you, big chicks. It's been a long time for sure. But I still love you and your daddy's taking care of you. Oh, we love our big chicks. We love our eggs. All right, let's go in here. <clears throat> Haven't been in here since, I don't know, last September. Oh, just a lot of cleanup to do. Still got some corn bead seeds that I can pick. Everything is the way I expected to see it. I'd sure like to get some stuff planted in there. Maybe tomorrow. We are supposed to get another cold spot. We are supposed to get a another patch of cool weather down below freezing so um that'll give me time to get out here maybe and just kind of clean up a little bit and do what i can as long as i can get down those steps and feel comfortable about going back into the house i will be out in the yard <laughs> my knee's about to give out uh right now i've been outside for a couple of hours now so it's really starting to wear on me uh, i'm gonna sit and rest for a little while talk to butter and the chicks and then I'll probably grab my cane and head into the house. So thanks for coming along with me today. If I decide to do anything else, I'll let you know. But I am just out enjoying my day. Well, I've rested up, so I think that I'm going to uh, take care of this area right here and get that dirt dumped out of those pots and get those pots put away.
Okay. Now I do want to fill up a tray with marigolds, so I'm going to go ahead and fill that back up with dirt and plant some marigold seeds in there sometime. <laughs> Got that done. I didn't know if my knees were going to take bending over, but they did. They did real good. And I think I'm going to do a radish tray. Last time I did that, it worked out perfect. To start them in, anyway. Now, the only thing about these trays is they don't have holes in them, so they're not really built for starting plants, but I'll try to take care of them if it rains and stuff, cover them up or whatever. Or I'll move them up to the porch. Or I'll have John move them up to the porch. It's at times like these that I wish I had a grabber because I could just walk around and pick up a bunch of this trash and not have to <laughs> worry about it. But one of these days, maybe I'll, maybe I'll find me a grabber. I'm gonna take this old bamboo root that my brother gave me last year, or maybe the year before, and put it in a pot. I'm gonna put it right in there and see what happens. I don't know how to plant them. Don't know if you plant the whole thing. Don't know if you just put the roots in. But I'm just gonna put the roots down. Kind of covered it up a little bit. And we'll see what happens. Sit down and rest for a minute. Then I'm going to go in the house. Well, actually, I'm going to try to get one of my little dog kennels up to the front so that I can put Mike in. I've got to make sure that it has a bottom because I made it for the chickens so they could have a little run and they could dig and stuff. So i got to make sure that it has bottom. And then uh, I'm going to try to get it up as far as I can towards the porch. And that will save John some steps on trying to get it up there and I feel like I can do it so <laughs> that's what I'm getting ready to do all right better have a good day Okay, it's that first one that I want to try to get. Okay, I'm going to try to get that up a little bit. I'll have to fix up the bottom. I know I have it somewhere.
I've sure had a good day. Good morning. All right, let's see. If I can pick this up a little at a time, kind of use it as a walker. Whoop, there you went. <laughs> This might not work trying to tape it because I got to be careful about my safety. All right, guys, that's going to be it. I'm going to just scoot it over here out of the walkway. And grab my cane out of there. Made about halfway. So. All right, y'all. That's going to be it for today. Go out and enjoy life. Coming up was the hardest stuff of that sidewalk. So now it's made my knees a little weak. But I'm making it. Almost there. Tea and a protein shake. Oh. 